Come through. Where's the king? He's right there. Good morning. We are having breakfast at the hotel. The wonderful, delicious breakfast. So today is finally the day. Hopefully, uh, we can see Avengers for the movie theaters. There's one that's nearby. Uh, I wanted to watch it yesterday, but I fell asleep for four hours after our tour, and so didn't get up early enough. But I am wearing my Captain America outfit, so ready for Avengers. Um, yeah, I want to see it yesterday. It didn't happen. Hopefully today we can go check out Avengers 4 Endgame. Um, he wants to see it too. So maybe after the tour we can all go watch it. Okay, It's a three hour movie so we got to make sure we have enough time. And hopefully it's in English. That's the main thing. If it's not, oh well. I'm still going to enjoy it. Here we made it to the Great Wild Goose Pagoda. Um, we've got the bell tower and the drum tower behind me here. And then we got the pagoda itself. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's leaning slightly because of the soil and the ground not settling properly. And uh, basically the tower started leaning to one side. Everything here, the buildings themselves were reconstructed in 2006. And, uh, as well as the white marble here but the pagoda was from 1503 or 1506 so that is original it's a very old old structure used by the monks here in Xi'an China and um, so there's lots of tourism and we're gonna go check it out Yeah, just to give you an idea of how tall it is, it's 65 meters in height. And then around the grounds, there's smaller little pagodas as well. And believe it or not, they're also leaning. I don't know why, but yeah, there's little smaller pagodas that are leaning. So we are at our next stop is the Shanxi uh, History Museum. We are in the province of Shanxi, no longer in Hunan. Uh, we are up further north. Today is actually seems very busy. Uh, I was told that the local tourists or the Chinese tourists that come here, they're not very interested in the Chinese history because they already know it, but they're just here to take pictures and show their friends that they're at a museum because they think they're culturally diverse and, and want to be here so but ah eh, whatever it's still a museum I'm sure inside it's very nice and a lot of uh, displays and exhibits and for us we'll be learning about it because we don't know too much about Chinese history and the displays are in English 
and Chinese, so we can do some read up on it. And as always, the uh, museum has a security checkpoint, so we'll be checking in our stuff. Make sure our baggage is good. I think these would make really cool chess pieces, don't you think? So after lunch, we uh, were exploring the Muslim cultural square. There's tons of little markets around here, restaurants, and we're heading over to the Great Mosque. So we are exploring the Great Mosque here in Xi'an. Uh, so this is a Muslim religious uh, guess, uh, place of worship. And so there's lots of temples, rooms for cleansing, uh, the garden area, one of the original from this uh, era. Um, yeah, some of this architecture is just old wooden uh, entranceways, wooden roofs, just well preserved. My, it's still very original. Uh, and we are approaching the temple. So this is the second courtyard, and we are going into the third courtyard here. And this is. Yeah, one of the temples. Oh, it's not the original. 
All right, our tour guide Wally explained that this uh, structure here is not the original. It was so badly damaged that they actually had to tear it down to try and get repairs, but unfortunately it didn't come back in the same condition. And so this is well, how it ended up. It still looks nice, but it's not the original. Behind me here is the Drum Tower in Xi'an. This is one of the locations for the Amazing Race. They had uh, to complete a challenge here. Uh, it is one of the largest drum towers in China. So it is amazing. You can see the two circular white and red drums in the back that they used to alert the monks. And uh, yeah, tons of visitors coming in here. We also have a shopping mall, which seems kind of odd. But, uh, so this uh, is the central plaza here in the uh, city wall of Xi'an. Okay, and on the other end of where the drum tower is, is the bell tower. Uh, you can see there's a huge roundabout. That's how you know you've hit the bell tower. So up inside, it costs about 30 yuan to go upstairs and just mostly just the tower or a viewpoint where you can see different areas of the city. There's people up there already. Oh, you can see the big bell. So there's the big bell. I'm sure it's not in use because it's probably an antique or relic that they don't want to constantly keep using. There you go. subway system. Um, I got a single-use metro card. Well, good news. So, uh, this theater does play Avengers. It's official. I've got my Avengers ticket. Alright, I just finished watching Avengers Endgame. Here at the uh, Wanda IMAX Cinemas here in Xi'an, China. I'm gonna head home um, to the hotel and then we'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs>